Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 2021 Birmingham Public Library Summer Reading Program, Tales and Tales. My name is Eve Parker, and today I would like to share with you all a Perqua tale, which is a how and why tale from the Native American tradition. This is a Cherokee story, and it was retold by Robin Moore. It's called How Turtle Cracked His Shell. Today, if you pick up a turtle shell and look at it, you will see that it's got cracks and scars all over it. But it wasn't always that way. Back at the beginning of time, when all the animals were friends with one another and could talk to one another, Turtle had a beautiful, smooth, shiny shell. He was very proud of it. Now, in those days, Turtle was best friends with Possum. And every day, they would go for walks together in the woods. Now, one day they came to a clearing and there was a persimmon tree. If you don't know what a persimmon is, it's a sticky sweet sort of a fruit and it's one of Turtle's favorite foods. Oh, Turtle loved persimmons, but Turtle can't climb trees. So it was very lucky on that day that Turtle and Possum were together because Possum's a really good tree climber. So Turtle said, Oh, Brother Possum, do you see those persimmons up in that tree? Oh, I sure would like a nice juicy persimmon. And Possum said, oh, all right, I'll go get you one. And Possum climbed up that tree. He picked a persimmon. He said, all right, Brother Turtle, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And Turtle opened his jaws wide just like that. And he said, okay, here it comes. Ooh. Oh, that's so yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Oh, could I have another? Oh, all right then. All right, here we go. And Possum picked another persimmon. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And once again, Turtle opened his jaws wide and Possum threw it down. Oh, that is the best persimmon. I could eat these all day long. Well, that's when Wolfie came into the clearing. He sat down right next to Turtle. It seems like Wolfie had been watching what was going on, and Wolfie loved persimmons every bit as much as Turtle. And just like Turtle, Wolfie couldn't climb trees. So this next time, when Possum picked a persimmon and threw it down to Turtle, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <gasps> Turtle tried to catch it, but Wolfie reached in with his big old long wolf-like jaws and snatched it out of the air before Turtle could get it. So Possum said, it's all right, I'll throw you another. And he threw him another one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Opened up his jaws. And once again, Wolfie reached in with his long snout and grabbed that persimmon. Every time Possum tried to throw Turtle another persimmon, Wolfie would reach in and grab it. It didn't matter if he threw it in front of him or behind him or on one side or the other. Wolfie's snout was so long and his legs were so long, he just grabbed that persimmon out of the air. Well, if that was happening to me, I'd be pretty upset, but not Turtle. He just kept his cool. He called up to Possum, he said, Hey there, Brother Possum. We're not being very fair to our friend, Brother Wolfie here. Why, you're just throwing him the, the small turtle-sized persimmons a week, a week, a week. What you need to do is climb to the top of the tree and pick the biggest, stickiest, wolf-sized persimmon you can find and throw it down to Wolfie here. A wink, a wink, a wink. Well, Wolfie liked that idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, I want a great big sticky persimmon, the biggest one you can find. And that's what Possum did. He climbed to the very top of the tree and he picked the biggest, stickiest persimmon he could find. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Wolfie opened his jaws wide. Here it comes. Oh. Wolfie caught it in his jaws. 
but he couldn't swallow it. It was so big it got caught in his throat. He started trying to cough it out, but it was stuck and he couldn't even breathe the cough. <laughs> he started turning red and then blue and then purple, and then he fell over with his paws in the air and his tongue hanging out, all dead-like. Well, Possum came down from the tree and he and Turtle went over to where Wolfie lay and they started sniffing around him. Yeah, I think he's a goner for sure. <laughs> Teach Wolfie to try to steal my persimmons. And they walked on. Well, it wasn't just a moment or two later that all of Wolf's friends came loping into that clearing. And when they saw Wolfie laying there all dead-like, they ran over to him, they picked him up, and they did the Pahomlik maneuver. And that persimmon came out of his throat and went shooting all the way across the clearing. Wolfie started coughing. <coughs> And then he put his paws together, lifted his snout in the air, and started singing a song that he's been singing ever since. Oh, gonna get him! Oh, gonna get him! And Wolfie went out and got him. As you might imagine, it didn't take long for Wolfie to track down Turtle. And when he did, he picked him up in his jaws and he carried Turtle to a clearing by the cliff where his den was. He put Turtle down and Turtle looked around. He was surrounded by wolves. There were big wolves and little wolves, hundreds of wolves. And, and there was a great big old fire roaring with a clay pot on top of it that was filled with boiling water. Now, I would have been terrified, but not Turtle. He just blinked his eyes and looked and stayed calm as a cucumber. Wolfie said, <laughs> now I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm gonna throw you in that pot of water and I'm gonna boil you up and tonight we're all gonna have turtle stew for supper. Oh yes sir, Bob, turtle stew, there's nothing better. And turtle said, well, you just go right ahead. You throw me in that pot. I'll just go a bam, a bam, a bam, a bam, and I'll just kick that pot to pieces. <laughs> that water will spill out onto the fire, and oh, put the fire out, and it'll steam up. <laughs> nice soda. Oh, I just love me a nice soda. Well, thank you, Wolfie. That's awful nice of you. And Wolfie put his paws together, lifted his snout into the air, and said, Oh! Didn't think of that. Well then, we won't have turtle soup. I'm just gonna throw you in the fire and roast you. And tonight, we'll have us some roast turtle. Oh yeah, I love me some roast turtle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And Turtle said, oh, that sounds lovely. You just throw me in that fire and I'll just roll around with my hard shell and oh, it'll just feel so nice and warm, at least until I put the fire out. And oh, that's such a nice thing for you to do, Wolfie. Thank you, Wolfie. And Wolfie put his paws together and lifted his snout to the air and said, oh, didn't think of that. Well then, just forget about eating you. What I'm gonna do is, you see that river over there? I'm gonna throw you into the river and you're gonna sink and drown. That's what I'm gonna do. Seems like Wolf didn't know turtles can swim. <laughs> well, Turtle pretended to be scared. Oh, Brother Wolf, oh, please don't throw me in the river. I'm afraid. Please don't throw me in the river. I don't want to sink and drown. Wolfie said, <laughs> that's just what I'm going to do then. And so Wolfie picked up Turtle, and he threw him into the river. And it was a very good throw. Turtle landed smack dab in the middle of the river. He sank down. Boo! And then he rose back up. <laughs> and then he swam away just a laughing. <laughs> Teach you to mess with a turtle. <laughs> and Wolfie put his paws together, lifted his snout to the air, and said, Oh, didn't think of that. 
And that should have been the end of the story, except that when Turtle hit the water, there was a rock just beneath the surface, and his shell hit that rock and cracked into 13 different pieces. And Turtle, as he swam away towards the bank and he climbed up on the bank, he said, Oh, my aching back. And he lay there in the sun and let the sun heal those cracks. But to this day, if you pick up a turtle's shell, you will see 13 different pieces from where Wolfie threw Turtle into the water. And that is the story of how Turtle cracked his shell. If you enjoyed this perqua tale, I hope you'll go to the library and ask your librarian for suggestions of other how and why stories. You could find out why chipmunk has stripes or why a rooster has a crown. There are so many, many fun stories. Why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. So go to the library and get some perqua tales and have a blast reading them. Keep on reading and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye.